Now Facebook's going to send me like 20 notifications. <laughs> Oh, I was right. What? It's 4,400. Oh, oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them also come from our apartment. That's a private bedroom, it's, and it sells a kitchen. It's $1,500 cheaper, so. Oh, yeah, like Claire, it's great. life here at UCF. I'm also a UCF alumni myself. So today we're going to talk about all things housing and residence life. So what are the different opportunities to live on campus? What choices do I have? How much do things cost? Where can I get information about other resources on campus? We're going to cover all of that and more today, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Why is it important to live on campus as an incoming freshman or for your first year in college? Well, as you can see, we have some applications here for you. Very close to class and food, emphasis on the food. When you're an incoming freshman, almost all of our, our freshman-only dorms are located in very close proximity to our dining halls, our recreation and wellness center, as well as a lot of our other campus resources and offices that can help assist students with the transition in their first year. Also, students are 20% more likely to graduate on time if they spend at least one year living on campus as an on-campus resident. Also, lifelong friends and memories from those roommates that you meet, spacious, clean, convenient, and most importantly, you get to overall UCF experience. So let's talk about our housing types. So the way that we differentiate our types, we're going to get into that in just a second. As you can see, we have a total of 10 different housing communities. And those are spread across three different locations. Okay, So we have most of our communities, the predominant amount, located here on the main campus. We also have our UCF downtown campus, where we have our Union West community. And we have the Rosen College of Hospitality Management, where we have rooms available for our hospitality students. So this is what differentiates the housing types from each other, which you can see in front of you. What differentiates them is the length of the agreements. Okay? So let's break that down for a second. On the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see our academic year agreements. That's a very fancy way of saying that it's a two-semester agreement. So that'll be for the fall semester and the spring semester. The communities that you see listed on there, Apollo Libra, Nike Hercules, Lake Claire and Neptune, those are all freshman-only communities. Okay? So only freshmen can apply there, only freshmen can live there. The top two, well actually the top four that you see up there, Apollo, Libra, Nike, and Hercules, those are all shared bedrooms. Okay? So what do I mean by that? That means you'll be sharing a room with one other person, there will be a room next door to you with another two people, the four of you will share a bathroom. You don't have any communal bathrooms or showers or anything like that, it's just going to be located within the unit itself. And then Lake Claire and Neptune, again, freshman only communities, and those are going to be apartment style, so they're going to have a private bedroom. Okay? So you'll, be have, you'll have your own bedroom, and then you'll be sharing a bathroom with one other person in Lake Claire and Neptune. And then if you take a look at our annual agreements, so these are exactly what they sound like, okay? So they're going to be for a full calendar year. It's an 11 and a half month contract. We have our Towers community and our Northview community. They're located here on the main campus. And then we also have our Rosen College apartments, again, for our hospitality majors, as well as our Union West community, which are our residence halls for our students that are attending UCF downtown. So this is a little bit of a breakdown, again, of our academic year agreements. Like I just mentioned before, those top communities are going to be shared bedrooms. Neptune and Libra, those are going to be private bedrooms. The way that it works here when you're an incoming freshman is that all housing applications are first come, first served. Okay? When you submit your application and you've received a confirmation email, meaning that we have informed you that we do have a spot reserved for you on campus, that email is also going to include the date and the time that you can actually log into your My UCF and select which building and which room you want to live in. Okay? So if we have a room selection process here for our students, which is why if you do decide if you're an incoming freshman that you want to apply for one of our academic year agreements, if you're interested in living in one of those private bedroom communities like Neptune or Lake Claire, it definitely pays to apply early because the earlier you submit your application, 
the earlier your appointment time is going to be to go in and select your room, which means you have a much better chance of getting to one of those choices that you would like. And then also we have, again, the tower. Oh, no, you can go to the tower. Okay, well, it's okay. We have the Towers and Knights Plaza. This is definitely one of our more sought-after communities, especially among freshmen. The towers are apartment style, so it's a four bedroom, two bathroom, or a four bedroom, four bathroom. In addition to that, it's a traditional apartment style, so there's a full kitchen area in there as well as a living room. At the towers, we have study lounges located on every floor. Also, have full kitchens with dishwasher, just put a little exclamation point next to that. We also have private parking, so if you are a towers resident, you're going to have your own specific parking pass as opposed to other students living in other communities on campus. And then in addition to that, Towers is super desirable, not just for its amenities, but for its location. For those of you that have had a chance to explore our beautiful campus a little bit earlier today, you may have seen our football stadium, you may have seen the arena. Those are located directly in between the towers. So we have Towers 1 and 2 on one side of the arena, 3 and 4 on the other side. You also have their own Barnes & Noble with Starbucks. They have their own dining hall. Nitro's is one of our two on-campus dining halls. So if you have a meal plan, you can make use of that. And then they also have their own uh, RWC Fitness Center, so the towers have its own gym as well. So then we have Northview. Northview is probably, for lack of a better term, our fanciest community. Northview is all private bedrooms and private bathrooms. So if you're living in Northview, you're going to either be in a four-bedroom, four-bathroom, or you're going to be in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. But you're guaranteed to have your own bedroom and your own bathroom. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but as you can see, we have a lot of amenities included with it. Resort style pool, we have our own gym on the first floor in Northview that's available only to residents. There's a sky deck on the top floor and a game room. I personally think this should be underlined and bolded, but there's a washer and dryer in each unit, which I think is crazy. That's probably the most important thing on this slide. And then again, similar to all of other dorms on campus, all utilities are included with no caps on anything like that. So this is just a little map to illustrate for you guys that may have a student that's interested in majoring in something in hospitality or one of our programs that's moved down to Union West. As you can see, it's about a 40 minute drive to Rosen here from the main campus. For Union West, it's a little bit less than a half an hour. We do also offer free shuttle services that will take students daily to and from those different campuses over to us here on the main campus. All right, so let's talk about Rosen really quick. So that's just a really quick floor layout of what it looks like at the Rosen Hall Departments. Again, four bedroom, two bathroom. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on Rosen today. If you have a student who's potentially interested in being a Rosen student and majoring in something in a hospitality program, I would strongly encourage you to check out Rosen's website. They have a lot of information on there, not just about housing, but about college in general, OK? And then we have Union West. Anybody that has a student that's interested in majoring in a program that's listed up there, you may want to take a quick picture of that. Those are a list of all of the programs that have moved from our main campus to UCF downtown since its inception a few years ago, okay? So if your student is gonna be majoring in one of these programs, it's not required that they live at Union West, but it may be a prudent decision because a lot of their classes may be centered in those buildings at UCF downtown. Again, this is just a little look at what the floor plans look like at Union West. Again, it's an annual contract, so it's fall, spring, and summer. As you can see, we have a lot of amenities there, study lounges, kitchen, laundry on every floor. Laundry, when you're living here as an on-campus resident, is done through our laundry app. And it's actually really nice because it shows you what machines are being used and which ones are empty, so you never have to come away empty-handed when you're going to get your laundry done. And then there's also Skyline Youth for Orlando and most of the units uh, at Union West, which is really, really nice as well. So this is a list, again, something we may want to pay attention to with the phones out and get some pictures of. All UCF housing includes Wireless internet, all utilities are included, study lounges, laundry. Housekeeping and maintenance varies in the rate that it occurs based on the community that you're living in. If you're living in one of our freshman-only shared bedrooms, we typically have weekly housekeeping that'll come in and tidy up. If you're living in one of our apartment styles, a little bit more, you're kind of on your own, personal responsibility kind of thing, but we do still have housekeeping services available if you need them. And then also activities and resources and proximity to our recreation. So here at UCF Housing, we also have what we call a residential curriculum. This is an initiative that our residence life team has developed over the last few years to help make the, our UCF students' lives not only productive and positive here on campus, but after they leave us as well. As you can see, this is an initiative that involves the entire university, but within our department specifically. They believe learning takes place everywhere, not just in the classroom. UCF residents will become active, engaged, and productive global citizens. That's our end goal for students to live on campus with us. They focus on three key concepts, community engagement, self-awareness, equity, and inclusion. 
If you're interested in learning more about the residential curriculum and what specifically goes into that, feel free to visit our website. We have a ton of information about that there, okay? So now let's talk about safety awareness. So this is a very popular topic, especially among parents, that we like to spend a lot of time on, like open houses and orientations. As you can see up there, we have a list of a lot of the different resources that we have in place to help keep our on-campus residents safe, healthy, and happy. First of all, we have 24-hour staff. So every housing community, whether you're here on the main campus or at any of our other campuses, those community offices are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, okay? So even if there's not someone physically present in the office, there is a number you can call and there is someone on duty that will pick up and assist you, okay? Whether it's you're just locked out of your room, whether you have a safety concern, there's someone available to assist you, all right? We also have security cameras located throughout our communities. Those of you that have done some exploring on campus earlier today may have noticed the big light poles around campus. That's something that UCF PD put into place, and they're a great resource for our residents to keep safe as well. Also, we have a great partnership with UCF PD. Their building is located literally right next door to our office, so we have a very close partnership with them. And that's a list of some of the services that UCF PD offers to help make your students experience the best that it can be. One of the most popular ones is bike registration. So students that bring bikes, scooters, skateboards, anything like that, UCF PD has a program where for free, they can register that vehicle for you so that if anything ever does happen to it or you can't locate it, they're able to locate it quite easily for you. And then we do also put some emphasis on the concept of personal responsibility. What does personal responsibility look like? Not letting people you don't know into the dorms, making smart decisions like that. We try to put an emphasis on that as well with our resident assistants and have conversations with our residents throughout the semester. All right, so meal plans. Meal plans are done through dining services, so we won't spend a whole lot of time on this. But as you can see, we do have meal plans. They're optional, so your freshman student is not required to have one. There's different levels to purchase. So you can go all the way from unlimited meals for the semester down to a certain number, and it goes down in different increments. Also, it might be something really worth taking a picture of. That's a list of the appliances that are permitted in the dorms. So we can have my, uh, excuse me, mini fridge, no more than five cubic feet, microwave, no more than 1,000 watts, coffee pot, and if you're living in an apartment, you can have all appliances available. We also gently slash strongly recommend you have some conversations with your students about cooking tips before they arrive here at UCF. I always like to tell folks the story of the $5,000 fried chicken, which was we had a you know very happy-go-lucky freshman resident that was living in Neptune that decided that he wanted to cook some fried chicken one night, and he caused a fire, and he caused $5,000 in damage. Parents got a bill for that. So not that it needs to be said, but you do not want that to be you. So, before your students come off and live on their own, just make sure that if they are going to be doing cooking or if they're not super skilled around the kitchen, just have some conversations with them to make sure that they're all right. So let's talk about the application process. It's probably the most important slide we're going to talk about today. If you have been offered admission to the university, you can apply for housing. I'll say it one more time. If you've been offered admission to the university, you can apply for housing. You do not have to have accepted that offer of admission. As long as it's been offered to you, you can go ahead and apply, and I would strongly recommend doing so. As you can see, you're going to apply on your myucf.edu. You'll go into your housing portal. You'll submit the application in the prepayment. Once we have received your application, we have processed it, we will send you an email letting you know that you've been confirmed to have a spot on campus. Okay? And like we were just talking about a little bit earlier, when you submit that application, get that email back. That email is also going to tell you when you're going to be able to go in and select your room. Okay? As you can see, we also have only room sign-up appointments. Summer, it's going to be May, June, fall, June, July, or August, okay? Everything, and I mean everything, is online. All of the information that we went over in our presentation today, and we're going to keep going over in a second, all of the stuff that we've talked about, we're going to talk about this, we found on the website. We also have all of our specific pricing on there, so if you're interested in what a certain community costs, you can find all of that information broken down on our website, housing.ucf.edu. The big differentiation there, my UCF is for your students' specific needs, okay? So if you want to find out how much your student is being charged for something, whatever their class schedule is, whatever it may be, that's going to be if you're my UCF. Our website is going to be for any general public information, okay? So some tips for success. <laughs> We've said it six times, I'll say it a seven. Apply for housing as soon as you are offered admission to UCF. For incoming freshmen, those spots fill up quickly. We have a lot of space, a lot of space for incoming freshmen. That's where the majority of our housing comes from, but it's still limited, okay? We have a very big university. So even if you think that you, there's a chance you may not come to the university, I would still recommend putting down that $50 application fee to 
make sure that you can get a spot if you want one, okay? Also, plan now for what we just talked about, the housing prepayment, enrollment deposits, and orientation fee. Obviously, stay on top of your financial aid. Have your students sign up for their night's email. That's how basically all of our departments will communicate with them. And like I just said, space is limited. If you do apply for housing and you realize afterwards or you make the decision that you're going to go somewhere else, please let us know in a timely fashion so we can make sure we have another student to fill that space, okay? So finally today, we're going to be doing some housing tours today, okay? These are walking tours, so you'll guide yourself to whichever community you're interested in seeing, and we'll have tour guides waiting to receive you there, okay? This is very important. If you're interested in seeing a shared bedroom, freshman only dorm, then you're going to want to take a look at either Hercules or Libra, okay? If you're interested in seeing something that's an apartment style with a private bedroom, a little bit nicer, more amenities, then you're going to want to take a look at Northview. Hercules and Libra can be walked to. Northview cannot. I guess technically could, but I wouldn't recommend it. You're going to want to drive to Northview. For those of you that have seen the campus a little bit, it's right behind the football stadium, so it's probably about a five-minute drive from where we are right now. Hercules and Libra, it's going to be pretty close to the garage that you guys parked, most of you parked in today, but it's going to be located near the Recreation and Wellness Center, and we're going to have signs pointing you guys in the direction to go to, okay? Those are going on until 1.30 p.m. So again, just to recap, until 1.30 you can bring yourself to those communities, and we will have people there that will take you guys on tours, okay? All right, that's all I got for you guys. Have a great rest of your open house, all right? Go Mets. Charge on.